So let's just practice rewriting some of these in standard form. So the first one is y equals x minus 4 times x plus 2. So we've got two sets of parentheses, so we'll go right to that generic rectangle or foil. Really, whatever method works, you should get the same thing. So x times x is x squared, x times 2, 2x, x times negative 4, negative 4x, negative 4 times 2, negative 8. So you get y equals x squared, negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x minus 8. So same graph. If you were to graph both of these equations, just this one that we just found is in standard form. The one we started with is in intercept form. So how about number eight? Two sets of parentheses, so we will do a generic rectangle, but we have to address this two first. So the biggest um, error I guess I see people do is that they see this two and they want to distribute it into everything. That is not what you want to do. If you have a dollar, say you have two dollars since we have a two, once you've given it to that group, you don't still have it to give to that other group. Um, just like if you guys had two times three times six, you want to do two times three and then two times six, you would do two times three is six. 6 times 6 is 12. So once you've decided to use that 2 to multiply in there, it's gone. It only goes into the first set. So 2 times x minus 1 will give you 2x minus 2 times that x plus 6. So now we will go and do that generic rectangle. So 2x minus 2, x plus 6. So 2x times x is 2, now x squared. 2x times 6 is 12x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And remember, f of x, guys, just means y. So our new equation will be f of x equals 2x squared, 12x plus negative 2x, 10x minus 12. All right, let's do one more, and I'll have you guys can try number well, so let's do number 11. So that negative 3 just gets distributed to that first set of parentheses. So negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 1 will be positive 3 still times x plus 4. So you're ready for that generic rectangle. Negative 6x, positive 3, positive x, positive 4. So negative 6x times x, negative 6x squared. If it helps, you can put that coefficient of 1 there. So negative 6 times 1, negative 6x six times x, x squared. Negative 6x times 4, negative 24x, 3 times 1x, 3x, 3 times 4 is 12. So your equation in standard form will be negative 6x squared, 3 plus negative 24 minus 21x plus 12. So if you've got two sets of parentheses, like number 7, 8, and 11, um, you're just going to set up a generic rectangle, but just remember that, that if there is a number out in the front, it only gets distributed to one set of parentheses, not the whole equation. You can't use it for the whole equation. You can only use it once, not twice. Excuse me.
and go ahead and try number 12 just for some practice for yourselves.